Hi, I'm Susan Aruda. Do this, not that. Today I'm gonna to take you through the step up. You're gonna need a platform, uh, a bench, a sturdy bench, and simple enough, you're gonna step up and step down, okay? Keep the uh, weight-bearing leg on the bench. Step up, step down, you can alternate. What you don't wanna do is don't lean forward and step up. Okay, don't do that. Don't add weights before you nail down the alignment and the correct way to do it without weights first. So don't add weights. So you're gonna step, put all the weight onto that uh, heel on the middle of the foot and then step straight up, step down. So think bare weight and straight up. So think cup of water on your head Pull in your abs. Don't release that core. Keep it holding. And exhale on the lift. Don't hold your breath. Exhale on the lift. Straight up, straight down. Okay? Now you can alternate legs. Now, something that you must know about the platform, if the angle is uh, greater than 90 degrees, then you're going to have to be really strong to keep your alignment right on so that you don't stress your knee. So I like to pull, pull my toes up to emphasize the weight through the heel. So you're working more the booty and the leg and the stress is taken off of the, of the kneecap, the patella. I've got bad knees, so I'm so aware of that. So stay in tune with your body and how it feels. Okay, so exhale on the lift. Okay, that's the hard part. Now when you add weight, you can hold them at your side. Again, smooth and control. Don't jerk the movement and get your breathing right. Shoulders down and back. Don't let your, your uh, back round. Keep it flat, shoulders down and back. Exhale. And as you step up, smooth, soft landings. Don't land like an elephant. Landings, toe, ball, heel. Okay. Now you can also uh, choose to hold your weights just at your shoulders. <sighs> A little more advanced. Hold it down by your sides to start. Okay. Now, if you are not able to do this step up correctly and you're really struggling and you're leaning forward, then you need to lower your platform. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Get rid of this. Now, one of my favorite <laughs> older pieces of equipment is the Reebok Step, okay? Trending back in the late 80s, 90s especially. Okay, so you're going to step and step down, okay? Step up, step down, or just stay lifted, stay tall, going in, exhale. Simple enough, right? And the great thing about this Reebok step is you got the modules. So you can progressively adjust your height uh, based on how you're doing, how you're progressing. So then, of course, one inch higher and make sure they're locked in place and same thing. Think straight up, straight down, keep your shoulders lined over your hips as much as possible. There's a slight lean forward when you step, but not, you don't want to hinge from the hips. So don't hinge from the hips. Think weight on that standing leg and exhale. Okay. And then of course, ways to make it harder without any weight is just lengthen your reverse, but don't arch your back. Right? Do it right. Get results. Stay injury free.